Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are heading to Suva, Fiji this morning on the eighth day of their landmark 16-day tour of Oceania, and they are expected to attend an official welcome ceremony in the city centre, which will mirror in format the one attended by the Queen and Prince Philip in 1953. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will travel by charter flight to Fiji's capital of Suva, where they will embark on a three-day programme. On arrival, expected to be this afternoon, the royal duo will be greeted by a guard of honour at the airport, before officially meeting the President of Fiji at Boron House. Meghan and Harry will then attend an official welcome ceremony in the city centre's Albert Park, known as Virkakavi Vakanua. It will involve several elements from the Fijian culture, including dance performances, the presentation of taboo and a kava ceremony. The Duke and Duchess will leave Albert Park to attend a reception and state dinner at the Grand Pacific Hotel this evening, hosted by the President of Fiji. It is believed Prince Harry will deliver a speech there. Meghan and Harry are now flying to Fiji. They waved goodbye to Aussie fans who gathered in Queensland's Hervue Bay to see the royal duo. Meghan and Harry have made no changes to their Fiji schedule despite the presence of Zika virus. Royal correspondent Melissa Davis claimed it doesn't seem as the Duke and the Duchess have altered their Fiji schedule to take into account the risk that Meghan could contract Zika. Ms Davis also added the royal duo planned the Fiji leg of the tour with pregnancy in mind. She told the AM show, I think they were thinking either perhaps she would be pregnant or she would be trying to get pregnant at the time, I think they'd thought about that before they put the schedule in place. Meghan and Harry have been pictured leaving Fraser Island and heading to the airport. They are expected to arrive to Fiji this afternoon. The Duchess is wearing a simple yet chic outfit, a white shirt and a pair of black trousers while the Duke is sporting a blue shirt and a pair of chinos. In 1953 Queen Elizabeth II and the Duke of Edinburgh arrived in Fiji, as part of Her Majesty's first Commonwealth tour as Queen. Sixty-five years later Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will start their royal tour to Fiji and receive the same official welcome ceremony in Alberts Park. Straight out of a romantic comedy Y'all. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle looked so in love during a torrential downpour in Dubbo on Wednesday, October. 17. The newlyweds, who recently announced they're expecting their first child together, are currently in the middle of a 16-day tour to Fiji, Donga, New Zealand, and of course, Australia. Meghan looked lovingly at her man while holding an umbrella over him during a speech, and he reciprocated the same facial expression in a separate pic. I mean, come on. This these two are just too adorable. Harry, 34, and Meghan, 37, shared their exciting baby news on Monday, October 15 right before beginning their first leg of the tour. Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019, Kensington Palace revealed in a statement. Their Royal Highnesses have appreciated all of the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public. The, literally perfect-looking, couple attended the wedding of Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Bank on Friday, October 12 and Meghan was super sneaky about hiding her baby bump at the special event. I knew she was pregnant when she wore that massive coat, over, the weekend. One user commented on Twitter. I knew Meghan Markle was pregnant when she wore the coat dress to Princess Eugenie's wedding, added another. While hindsight is 2020, the Duchess of Sussex often wears figure flattering ensembles, and the billowy number seemed a bit odd. In fact, the former Suits actress totally distracted us from her bump just three weeks before announcing the news, by changing up her hairstyle. Instead of rocking her typical curly hair, Meg opted for a sleek straight do, and naturally, the press went wild. After all, it's not every day that a royal decides to switch up her signature hairstyle. In fact, the Duchess sister-in-law, Kate Middleton, seemingly did the same thing when she was pregnant. Back in September 2017, a Twitter user theorized that Kate uses her hair to distract the media from her growing belly.
pattern as Duchess of Cambridge changes her hairstyle, people concentrate on her head, and, then, she, announces, the, pregnancy, they wrote. Interesting. Speculation aside, one thing's for sure, Harry and Meghan are so freaking in love it hurts. Also, their baby is gonna be drop dead gorgeous. Meghan Markle has compared pregnancy to having jet lag after wowing crowds on Bondi Beach, Sydney. The Duchess of Sussex gave an insight into her pregnancy during an anti-bad vibe circle hosted by mental health campaign group One Wave. Meghan, 37, spoke with 35-year-old Charlotte Connell who is much further along the line at 23 weeks pregnant, about how motherhood has had her waking up at 4.30 a.m. to do yoga. Ms. Connell said, Meghan told me that pregnancy was like having jet lag. She said she was up at 4.30 a.m. this morning doing yoga in her room as she couldn't sleep. It's a bit of a double whammy for her, she said, as she has both the baby and the jet lag to contend with. We both talked about how you feel jet lagged even though you have not traveled anywhere. Even in her jet lag, she got up to do yoga this morning at 4.30 a.m. Physical activity like yoga and surfing is so good for healing your mind. Mental health is something Prince Harry has spoken out on and is a keen campaigner to help raise awareness. Meghan and Harry listened to the group for 10 minutes and shared their own personal experiences with the illness to the local community surfing group. In a statement Kensington Palace said, to turn the tide on stigma surrounding mental health issues. One Wave is encouraging people to share their experiences of living with mental health issues and the power of opening up using. Dabri Eulick Whale, 37, who took part in the session was full of praise for the relatable royal couple. She said, Oh my goodness, they were just so real, so relatable. They shared their own experiences, which was amazing. Shortly after Meghan and Harry had a go at waxing a surfboard as they dipped their toes in the sand at the famous Australian beach. Meghan wore a sleeveless Martin Grant dress with espadrille tie wedges with a garland of flowers around her neck, whilst Harry wore a light blue shirt, beige trousers and espadrilles. The pair are currently on day four of their whirlwind 16-day tour of Australia, Fiji, Tonga, and New Zealand. Tomorrow the royal couple will be on Cockatoo Island where they will be watching the Invictus Games, a competition created by Prince Harry which will see 18 nations represented. Kensington Palace has confirmed the news that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will welcome their first child in spring 2019. The announcement comes after months of speculation around the newlyweds, and following the Duchess' glowing appearance at Princess Eugenie's wedding. When will Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have their first baby? The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will welcome their first child in spring 2019. While a due date has not been confirmed yet, speculation has it around late March or early April. It is rumored that the couple informed the royal family of Meghan's pregnancy at the wedding of Princess Eugenie. Before the royal wedding in May 2018, Meghan's father Thomas Markle broke traditional royal protocol to speak out and say that a child will be coming soon. Around the same time, Ladbrokes made it a 4-6 chance that the newlyweds make an announcement in 2018 they are expecting their first child. When did Harry and Meghan get married? The couple tied the knot on May 19, 2018, after a smitten Harry popped the question in London last year. The wedding took place at St George's Chapel at Windsor Castle and was attended by A-list stars and watched around the world. Prince William was best man, and here is the full list of bridesmaids and page boys. The world has been awaiting the announcement of a Sussex baby eagerly. How did Harry and Meghan meet? Prince Harry and Meghan first met after being introduced by mutual pals but only announced they were together in November 2016. They were then spotted hand in hand for the first time while out on a date in London. At the time, pals said actress Meghan had virtually moved into Harry's cottage at Kensington Palace with the couple having been inseparable for weeks. On May 6, 2017, 
Meghan made her first public appearance as a royal girlfriend when she proudly watched Prince Harry playing polo in Berkshire. Then in September, the pair were pictured together in Toronto as they attended the Invictus Games with Meghan's mum Doria. When did Prince William and Kate Middleton have their first child? The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge announced they were expecting their first child in December 2012, a year and eight months after they were married at Westminster Abbey. The announcement had come earlier than is traditional as Catherine was admitted to hospital with hyperemesis gravidarum. Prince George was born on July 22, 2013. Their second child Princess Charlotte was born on May 2, 2015. Their youngest aunt, Prince Louis, was born on St. George's Day, April 23. <laughs>